Hello, hello. Welcome back to Spooky Island. And today we have the third film of uh, the 2nd of July, which is none other than The Tomorrow War, which is an Amazon Prime exclusive, or Amazon Prime Video exclusive. Um, this film has had a lot of money into it. I know Amazon paid good money to be able to get hold of this film. It's a, it's a quite big budget film because of the scale of the film, like the idea. Um, but I just want to start off with saying that the reviews for this film are mixed. The audience, I think, are about 85 right now, and the critics is at about 60. Um, I would say this film somewhere in between that. Um, I'd probably say this film's a, a solid 70, maybe a 75, maybe 76. Um, I think this, this film's very funny. It has a very, very good cast in, like J.K. Simmons, Chris Pratt. They both play their roles perfectly. There's a lot of other good actors in this film, actors and actresses in this film, that that have a great, a great um, performance. Um, the action scenes in this film are very good. Uh, there's some, there's some obviously stretched ones that you'd think, you know, that one's a little bit out there. But for the most part, this film has has very good CGI. There's some bits where it was a little bit dodgy, um, which you could tell, especially towards kind of the start of the film. Um, but this film, this film, I think a, a big compliment for this film is that it kind of breaks the streaming bond type of film. Like it's not a typical. Amazon film, it's not a typical Netflix original, it's kind of, I'd say mostly breaks that, there's still stuff that holds it back, which I'll talk about in a second, but for the most part, this film could probably stand a chance in cinema and people would enjoy it. I enjoyed this film, I thought it had it had a very good uh, idea, I think it could have been done a little bit better in some parts. Um, but this film is still two hours, nearly, nearly two and a half hours, and it does achieve a lot. Like, the idea is so out there itself that it kind of has to kick you in straight away. Within the first act, you're already seeing Chris Pratt in the future. And I don't want to talk too much about it, but there's a character that he meets that is one of the, probably my favourite character in this film, along with Chris Pratt. Um, that their, their bond is kind of why the film work so well and um, I just really I really enjoyed this film uh, but some of the, the things I will point out is that the film kind of got mixed up a little bit and some people kind of are, are saying it because it's kind of more a like a uh, a film where you throw a bunch of money you throw an idea that's crazy a bunch of CGI and hope it works and I think this film it, 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 it mostly works. I think there, there's still problems like um, there's parts in the second act where you kind of get lost to what the whole goal is and you kind of see without spoiling anything they, they're they there for seven days in the future and kind of most of that time kind of goes by very quickly or you see him there for like a day and then like, before you know it, he's got to go back, and I feel like there's a lot more potential in that aspect where they could have done a lot more, um, with the time you didn't see, I think there's a lot more potential for that. I think they used, they, they used the film well, like, the, the, the enemies were, were well developed, the, uh, the environment was very cool, the environment looked very pretty as well, um, some of the like, side characters were very good, some side characters um, I think kind of got a little bit um, I feel like they got a bit shafted in the end and if you don't know what shafted means that means they got a little bit, you know, pushed to the side but there, there's, there's flaws in this film but I, I'd say for the most part this film's a solid watch and if you're looking to watch yeah a good film, I, I'd recommend this, that's why I'm going to give this film a uh, 76% I'd say. I've got here between 7 and 7.5 but I think it just goes above 
because um, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this film really does stand out to me in that aspect. But anyway, guys, five minutes is up. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, that's going to be the last of the three films I've seen today. I've had a very busy day, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.